everyone, today I'm going to be opening a Japan Crate snack box. This is filled with Japanese candies and treats. I had no idea this was even coming, it just showed up in my P.O. box and I was like, heck yeah, because I really enjoyed doing my last food unboxing video and I just like to eat things and I want to try everything out. So we are going to just hop on into this and I'm going to stuff my face with some of these goodies. So when you open the box, it looks like this inside. And it seems with like a lot of these kinds of companies, they do give you a um, little booklet here. And thankfully inside, it does give you kind of an overview of everything that's inside and what it is so you know what you're eating. Though sometimes it's just fun to not know what you're eating. But um, we're going to probably check this out just to see exactly what is going on here. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out, opening it up, and st stuffing it in my face. So our first product, this is a big old bag, and my dog is actually interested in this as well. We have a bag of shrimp chips. So I have never ever tried anything like this shrimp flavored. Um, I like shrimp, so hopefully this is tasty. It says that there are four possible flavors, um, wasabi, hot garlic, yuzu, and black pepper, and original. We got the original, which is good. That way it's not too crazy. So, let's open it up and taste one. <laughs> ew, ew. Oh god, these reek so bad. <laughs> They smell like the seafood counter at the grocery store. I'm not looking forward to this. Like I said, I like shrimp, but ugh. They look like little french fries though. So they're definitely cute looking. <laughs> no, I don't like them. No, not shrimp chips. Just regular shrimp, not in chip form. I don't, I don't like those. They taste how they smell. They smell like the seafood um, counter in the grocery store. That's no good. Ooh, I had high hopes for those because I do like shrimp, but they are not good. Okay, our next product is by Glico, and these are called the Capri Cocot. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. They say they're like biting into a little chocolate cloud. They're little hearts, little puffy hearts with chocolate inside. Can't go wrong with chocolate, right? So I'm excited about these. Oh my gosh, this packaging is so cute. Look at that. It looks like they're in like a little, almost like egg kind of carton. Super cute packaging. Oh, these smell good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like these. I can tell already. But they're little, um, look like little puffy chocolates on here and then the back actually looks kind of like a more of a cream milk chocolate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. It reminds me of an arrow bar. The chocolate is very like airy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. I really, really like them. Like, I don't even think I'm gonna allow you to eat any. <laughs> Those definite thumbs up. Alright, our next product looks like it's going to be grape flavored Peru Mochi. Cute packaging as always. These are square sugar coated chewy candies. So let's open them up. Oh, that's nice. These are all individually wrapped. So that's really nice. You know, when you open a bag and you don't have to worry about stuff going stale because they're already individual. Oh, those are like really springy. These are good. I don't like grape flavor, but they're really good. They're a very soft, chewy, almost like a jelly consistency. And they're coated with sugar, so they're super sweet. They're super soft. I'd like them more if they weren't grape flavor, but they are good. Our next product 
looks like a super cute panda shaped something or other. Maybe a cookie. It's a giant wafer Saku Panda. Saku Panda enjoy this creamy giant cookie wafer chocolatey goodness in cute panda form. Heck yeah. Who doesn't want a cookie shaped like a panda face? Oh, he's so cute. I don't want to eat him, but he looks good. That's what he looks like. We're just gonna pop off one of his ears and start nibbling. It looks very, and you can see, I want you guys to see like a, can you see that? It's kind of like really aerated looking in the middle. Can you see that? Oh, yum. These taste just like those wafer cookies with the cream in the middle. You know those wafer cookies that look like cardboard, but actually taste okay? That's what these taste like. Very cardboard kind of feeling, but they have a really good flavor. Don't ask me how I know what the texture of cardboard is like, but this is really good. So, I'll have to demolish the rest of him later. Yeah, that's good. That is really good. Our next product looks like another kind of fruit chew, but it looks like there's all different types of fruits in there. Fruit shop gummy. Each fruit gummy tastes just like the fruit it's shaped after, which is what I assumed when I seen it. I don't need that booklet. I know what I'm talking about, right? So let's pop one open. I'm going straight for the strawberry because strawberry is one of my favorite flavors. Yeah. We want to see them. Oh, sorry. I'm being, oh. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it only came with one strawberry. <laughs> Which really saddens me because that strawberry was really good. But these are just like a, just like a gummy fruit snack, but they have a really nice flavor. And the gummy is not like the type that sticks in your teeth. You know, some of those gummies that you get are just like real obnoxious that they just get stuck into your teeth and these are just really soft. So I do like those. This product here is one of their like DIY kits. Um, it's to make some lollipops. So I'm not going to do that right now. However, I may make a separate video showing you guys um, me making these. So that'll be a cute little DIY kind of thing to do. Um, looks like we got another thing of chips. These look like um, kind of like a Pringle can, but on a much smaller scale. These are called Chip Star, and oh my gosh, these are shrimp flavored as well. So maybe they'll have a better taste than the other ones. Tabisco makes these. Holy crap! I didn't even notice them. And then on the inside, unlike Pringles, these are actually. Um, wrap themselves to maintain peak freshness, I suppose. Okay, these ones smell like Pringles. Like they smell like Pringle chips. They don't have that overly fishy smell like the last ones did. And they look like Pringles as well. Same kind of um, shape, so. These shrimp chips, so much better than the first ones. These actually have more of a, a seafood seasoning type flavor, almost like, almost like an Old Bay flavor, but like not as pungent, if that makes sense. They're definitely a lot better than the first bag of shrimp chips that I opened. But they do, they remind me a lot of a Pringle. Okay, our next product looks like, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to check my, uh, whatchamacallit here. This is called the Rock Paper Scissor Gummy. It's a gummy hand that comes in the shape of rock, paper, or scissors. Try to guess which shape you'll get or open yours with a fellow subscriber to play. Rock, paper, or scissors. I'm going to guess mine is, I'll guess mine is rock. So let's open it up. So this is gonna be like a gummy candy. 
All right, mine is actually scissors. So this is what it looks like when you open it. This is interesting. It kind of looks like a snail. Like, like here's its body and then its little antenna. I was a little concerned before I looked at um, what it actually was. I kind of thought it was some sort of snail thing. I don't know. But, uh, okay, this is really weird. Oh my gosh, so check this out. This is like one of those things, you know, you would get in like um, a vending machine. And it smells like cola. Um, but no, those things in the vending machine that you pay a quarter for, then you'd like slap them against something and it would stick. Oh my gosh, I just tried it and it totally works. You slap this up against something and it'll stick. So that's really awesome. And I'm gonna eat this now after I did that. It's actually really good. It has a cola flavor. It's like chewing cola. Like chewing soda instead of drinking it. Look at this little finger. All right, enough playing with my food. Yeah, that's not bad. It's pretty good. The gummy, like all these gummy candies so far that I've opened, they're just really a soft gummy, so they're not hard to chew. This is crazy looking. I have no idea what it is, but it has like this little guy on it. This is called, wow, such banana. Such banana here. Back by popular demand, the fun snack is a it's a banana flavor marshmallow with chocolate cream filling. They say it's a little reminiscent of the American Twinkie. Do Twinkies taste like banana? I don't, I haven't had a Twinkie in a long time, but I don't recall them being banana flavor. Yeah, that definitely smelled like banana. So here's what the actual product looks like. It is a very small little thing here. As you can see, there's like um, a marshmallow center and then there's chocolate in there as well. It's okay. Not like the most amazing thing ever, but it's not bad. I like, cho um, I like banana, so. Yeah. It's not bad, but I definitely like, it wouldn't be my favorite. That was the, wow, such banana. <laughs> such banana. Okay. Our next product has these cute little birdies on them. They look like lifesavers. Let's see what they say. These are called the Ramoon Whistle Candy. Blow through the small hole to create a loud whistling sound. Okay, so let's open one of these. And there, there's like three little individual ones on the pack here. And they do, they look like lifesavers. They're just like round, hard candies with a hole in the middle. Am I doing it wrong? I'm upsetting my dog. I'm sorry, Tosh. Okay. So I wonder if like actual lifesavers you could do this with, or maybe the hole's not um, small enough. I haven't had a lifesaver in a while, so I can't say for sure if the hole's the same size. Mmm. That's an interesting flavor. These are just like very sweet, a little tart, just like a tart, sweet, hard candy. They're not bad. Um, it's interesting that they make whistling noises. Now I'm wondering if like a lifesaver would make a whistling noise. I've never blew on a lifesaver before, so I cannot say for sure. This is like a little pack of possibly gum we have here. Oh, the one, two, three green apple gum. This is an example of old fashioned Japanese candy. This little pack of gum is meant to fit well in any small pocket. So it is definitely a little small um, pack of gum. So 
So this is the green apple. And then the gum itself is in little sections like this. So I'm just gonna chew on this a little bit and then I'll dispose of it so I can go to the next thing. This is the green apple flavor. And it tastes just like our version of green apple. It's no, no different. It's really good. Green apple isn't my most favorite flavor, but this is actually really nice. It's very sweet. I don't know what kind of bubbles it blows or anything like that though. Okay, I'm gonna be like Violet Beer Garden. I'm gonna stick that gum behind my ear for later. No, seriously though, it was um, a really nice piece of gum. I did enjoy that. So we're just gonna hop on into our next product. And I just love this packaging. I'm taking it, this is gonna be like a lollipop. It's going to taste like cola. Candy is like a mix of American Pop Rocks and Fun Dip. It includes a lollipop and some powder for dipping. The lollipop provides the sweetness of cola while the powder adds a fizzy punch. So this is just gonna be like um, Pop Rocks or... Okay, so we have our lollipop, which just looks like that. And then inside is just a powder. Lollipop's gonna taste like cola. And then, let's see. I'm gonna, you lick the lollipop first and then kind of, um, your spit creates like a coating around it to hold the powder or saliva, I should say, to be more, whatever. So then that's what your lollipop looks like after it is fully coated in your saliva and the powder. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, that was sour. That's really sour. The powder is definitely sour. It's nothing like Pop Rocks because it doesn't, it doesn't fizz or burst or anything in your mouth. Um, the powder is just kind of like a, just like a sour powder. Let's try it again. It is very sour though. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I don't I don't really care for that. I'm not big in the sour things. But the lollipop tastes good. It's got that cool flavor. So not a big fan of that though. And then our last product is going to be our drink. And this is called the Pine Soda Sangria. Sangria. And it's in a cute little can like this. It's pineapple soda. Pineapple can only grow in Japan's tropical island. Fruits in Japan are generally expensive due to the fact that they can't grow in Japan's mountainous terrain. So pineapple flavored drinks and snacks are a great way to enjoy it. So this is pineapple soda. I, I don't like how it's how on here it's called pine soda because we have a product over here to clean floors called pine sol and that just kind of like what it reminded me of. But no, I do enjoy pineapple um, flavored stuff. So um, I really like pineapple juice too. So we're going to stick this in our glass and see what it looks like. Right. it doesn't look bad it reminds me of um pineapple juice like just the juice left over from like a can of pineapples or something it don't smell like that though it definitely has like a soda kind of smell you know no, <laughs> I love pineapple, but like some things just should not be meant to be in soda form. Ugh. No, here, try it. That's nasty. I don't like it. This tastes like medicine. Yeah, yeah, no. I don't, yeah, I need to drink some water. 
is that is the end of the Japan crate box. I did enjoy some of the things out of here, some things not so much. Um, but thank you Japan Crate for sending me this box. If you want to keep sending me boxes for me to do on my YouTube, then feel free because this was a complete surprise. I had no idea it was coming. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down below if you would be interested in me um, to keep doing these types of videos. Uh, I definitely have fun doing them. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Looks like our next thing looks to be like this looks like like this.